Andre Ward said that Anthony Joshua is too busy trying to be a, a Instagram model and lift all the weights and and not spending enough time in the gym perfecting his craft as a boxer. And also said before he retired after the Kovalev rematch, he was gunning for Anthony Joshua. We back, good fella sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video, man. And um, Andre Ward went on ESPN First Take. I linked that interview in our description on the source link and said that, you know, Joshua is the truth. I just feel like so many people walking on eggshells and just lying, man. And it's the TV thing, man. You know, you can't have, you can't be real and be in the business where you got to interview these guys. You can't keep it a buck, all right? When you keep it a buck like Stephen A. Smith kept it a buck about Eddie Ruiz looking like Butterbean, you know, people say he disrespecting the sport of boxing, but where did he lie at? He did look like Butterbean, all right? People say, oh, you tripping and whoop de whoop It's a fact. He don't look like a heavyweight champion of the world. Even to when Teddy Atlas said it, nobody jumped on Teddy Atlas, you know, but it is what it is. You know, so many people say, uh, you know, oh, he disrespecting the sport. Like, nigga, the sport disrespects us every, every week, every day. Every Saturday, every Friday, whenever they fight, every time they have a fight and we don't get the fight that we want, we get tune up and tune up and bum bash at the bum bash. The sport of boxing disrespect us on a, on a daily and regular basis, though. You know what I'm saying? Nobody talk about that. And um, But at the end of the day, Andre Ward, you know, said that, you know, he didn't get this far by not being the truth and whoop de whoop. I just feel like I just wish these dudes would just, just keep it a buck. But it's hard when you got to be in the same room with these guys. You got to go interview these guys. You got to cover these dudes' fights. And, and that's the difference. When you a field reporter or you a commentator or, or when you go take the camera and get in front of these dudes, you got to watch what you say. You know what I'm saying? Ellie Sackbeck said something about Tyson Fury. He kicked him out of his press, his, his, his media workout. Because if he said he said something, these dudes are very, these boxers, and a lot of these athletes in general, NBA, NFL, a lot of these dudes are very sensitive. You can't say nothing about them. They, they just like, they won't let it go. They won't interview with you. They have you been. Um, you can't ask the tough questions. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, the truth is the new hate today. You know what I'm saying? If you tell the truth, you make a, a, a great observation, observation and you tell the truth, then, you know, you lose your job. You lose your credentials. You know, oh, I don't want to interview with you. They treat you some type of way. So, real talk, like... I don't understand why people even want the access, you know, for that shit. If you can't ask the questions you want to ask, but with with Andre Ward, with Andre Ward, he pretty much said that um that you know AJ spent too much time lifting weights and he don't he don't work out enough. Excuse me, he don't work out enough. So that's his biggest problem with him. You know, he he just lift out too much. He don't. He don't work on his boxing ability. He don't work on, you know, his jab, his footwork. He just too too busy lifting weights, too busy, you know, deadlifting, too busy, busy, you know, bench pressing and doing pull-ups and stuff of that nature, you know. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't get mad at him for making an observation. He right. You know, Anthony Joshua hasn't improved. You know, it seemed like he do put too much work in the weight room. It'd be like he do put too much work showing showing his body. He say he got too much muscle mass. And that's that's an honest opinion. You know, two two fifty, two fifty forty eight with all that muscle on look different than two forty eight with lean muscle. Bulky muscle was bad. Let me just get that out of here. A lot of these dudes think because they got bulky muscles that they strong. Not necessarily. If you only if you only doing five reps or whatever you're doing or you only power repping you not strong because what if you get in there with somebody and you pop and you just last for like one or two minutes? I'm just talking about regular street fight wrestling. You last for one or two minutes, and then you burnt out. Now this dude, he got the stamina, and all you know your your muscles need more oxygen to fuel them. In the hurt business, a lot of muscle is never really worked out. You don't have the flexibility. You don't you won't have the fluidity. You bulking around. You bulky. You walling around and stuff of that nature. So bulk muscle is bad. Get that out the way first. Bulk muscle was bad. Lean muscle, lean muscle was good. Unless you play in a physical contact sport like football, where you need the bulk, you need the bulk muscle to absorb the blows. I'm talking about American football. They absorb, they absorb the blows to harden the body. You need that. Any other time, unless you bodybuilding, or whatever, lean muscle is always the way to go. 
But, you know, Andre Ward went on to continue to say that he would have did what Ruiz did, but in his own type of way. He said he was gunning for him. He said he wanted to have a fight, a tune-up fight in his hometown. Then he wanted to go up to Cruiserweight. I presume that was versus Tony Bellew. I don't know Usyk or Tony Bellew. I'm thinking it was Tony Bellew. They was in talks with Tony Bellew. It was rumors about Usyk. Uh, Eddie Hearn was trying to get him to fight Tony Bellew at Cruiserweight. Then he said he was going to immediately gun for, uh, for Anthony Joshua. And uh, Stephen A. Smith interjected and said, I didn't want to see you do that. You had to go fight somebody that's like 260 pounds. He said, it's all right. He said, I know I could have did the same thing in my own way. And I was gunning for Anthony Joshua. And Virgil Hunter was saying that they wanted to get Anthony Joshua. And if Andre Ward would have, you know, went from, I think he started off around 160, but he won his first world title at 168, 175, the cruiserweight to heavyweight, he should have been in the same breath as Roy Jones again. You know, he should have been in that same vein. Or Roy Jones, and people say, well, why didn't he want a gun for Deontay Water? Well, Deontay Water had one belt. You beat Anthony Joshua, you get three belts, you know. Like, you go to work, eight and skate. Do my eight hours and go. Like, I'll get my three belts and go. So, uh, he knew Water was a bad matchup for him. You know, even though Wilder weighs significantly less, Wilder is a superior athlete. He got dog in that right hand. Nobody would take that right hand. Everybody knew Joshua was sweet. And um, could Andre Ward, could have did something similar to, to Andy Ruiz? Possibly. Possibly. You know, maybe Anthony Joshua looked at him different. Like, this little man can't hurt me. Maybe he would have bulldozed him. But my whole thing about it is, um, you said he the truth. But then you, you, you said you as a light heavyweight felt like you could beat him up. So, the truth of within that, what he said, was pretty much he never thought Anthony Joshua was shit. Virgil Hunter said he wanted to move up. They always thought he was full gaze. I mean, American fighters don't respect UK fighters. Because historically, they don't have the feet. They don't have the defense. They don't have the the craftsmen, which are the trainers. They don't have the one the they all their ex trainers were bum fighters, you know what I'm saying? Club fighters. They don't have no athletic ability, you know, as far as the trainers, old white men that were, you know, club fighters, you know, bar fighters, and that's why people don't respect them in America in Mexican fighter. When you see a UK fighter, it's rare that you see somebody that got the complete package. And Andre Ward said it. He said it just thinking after Kovalev. He was targeting, he really was targeting Anthony Joshua before he retired. That tells you everything you want to know. Ain't no light heavyweight. One no light heavyweight planning on moving up and beating Mike Tyson. One no light heavyweight really planning on or moving up fighting George Foreman. Sonny Liston, from what I remember. Joe Lewis. You know what I'm saying? One well, none of them dudes, you know, no dudes that started at super middleweight said, oh man. Now, I'm in a rush. You know, I'm, I'm, I want to go out there and fight a prime mic. I want to go out there and fight Joe Lewis. I want to go out there and, and fight this guy. Rarely, rarely you had a guy. You know, even Roy Jones, you know, he could have moved up and fought Buster Douglas. People forget that. His daddy stopped it. Him and his daddy was estranged for years, wasn't talking. But his daddy came out and said, no, nah, that's too much muscle mass for him. You know? So he told you everything. If you read between lines, he told you he never thought Anthony Joshua was shit, even though he see, he see, he covered his own butt by saying, "Oh, he was the truth. You don't get this far." But you you was you was plotting on him as a heavyweight. They knew he was sweet. They knew he was weak. They heard the gym stories that David Price put him down, Tony Yoka, Lawrence or Cali putting him down in the gym. They heard the the, the 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 gym wars, the gym stories. They heard that shit. I wasn't. We weren't the only one. These dudes know what's going behind the scenes more than I do. And Andre Ward won't order the smoke with Anthony Joshua. Going back a couple years ago, he said, I really was going to go up there and, and, and fight because you knew he was sweet. You know it was a layup. You ain't see him talking about going up there and fight Wild. You ain't hear him talking about going up and fight uh, Tyson Fury. He wasn't, trying to, he wasn't trying to mess with them. They all knew Joshua was sweet. Everybody want to say he can bounce back and offer moral support. All I'm saying, if it was Deontay Wilder, if it was Earl Spence or Terrence Crawford, it was another one of these American brothers, the Charlos, they'd never get that support from some of these black people out here, these black dudes and immediate ex-fighters. Oh, it's over for Wilder. He can't fix this. It's over for Anthony Joshua, bro. But it is what it is, man. Good for Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You reach out to the email. You have a business question, the quiet response, your video request. Keep sharing the videos. Appreciate the love and support, man. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Don't forget you can make a donation to the channel. Patreon there. You want to check that out. Two tiers in there. Um, in addition to that, man, appreciate it. I'll link the interview in the description on the source link. 
Let me know what you guys think. One time for the one time. We gone.